Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Dimitri, and uh, I'm a head of product growth uh, at Skyvia. Uh, in this webinar, I'm going to show you a few ways how you can easily connect your CRM data with BI tools, um, an example of uh, Google Data Studio. I can tell you for sure that if you are here, you can benefit from every or even all of uh, the products that we have. And I'll tell you uh, why a bit later. Uh, given the subject of our uh, today's webinar is uh, more, so to say, uh, business related, I guess some of you guys are non-tax savvy. Um, excuse me, those of you who are technical specialists like uh, BI engineers or, and data analysts, uh, but I'll try to explain uh, complex things in simple words so that everybody could get the right message and then uh, get the best uh, of the winner's content. Um, time is always very limited resource, so I'll uh, do my best to give you as much useful information as possible in uh, as short period of, of time as uh, possible. Um, and please, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to um, drop them in the chat. So let me tell you a little about who we are so we could better understand our expertise and what kind of uh, use cases our software can solve. I think I'll start sharing my screen so you can see um, the platform. So now I'm uh, sharing uh, my screen, and uh, this is uh, Skydia platform. Actually, Skydia is, is, uh, is not just a you know standalone product with, with just one solution. Uh, Skydia is a data integration platform that includes uh, four products. Um, we can see them here. So it's backup, connect, query, and integration. The platform was designed with a single aim to uh, help modern organization uh, become uh, a data-driven business, automate data integration processes, uh, meet regulatory requirements, and uh, stay, uh, stay safe from uh, data loss. So let me start product's presentation of the last point, uh, data loss. Um, in order to help our customers secure their uh, cloud of data, we designed a product called Backup. I won't be giving too much details about the backup solution as it doesn't cover the subject of our today's webinar, but um, uh, just for you to know that such a product exists um, should you need to enhance data security processes in your uh, organization. So the backup product was designed to easily and automatically back up your uh, cloud app data, such as CRMs, accounting tools, ERPs, e-commerce, um, project management tools, and so on. You can see the full list of all the apps available for uh, backup uh, right now. So the top reasons why our customers subscribe to backup, uh, just kind of backup, are requirement of their corporate policy. When companies become mature enough, they start caring about uh, their data security. They want to get uh, their ISO certification or so to audit. They suffered from data loss in the past and because of uh, the reasons like bad code, uh, migration error, integration error, malicious intent, or their uh, their cloud app was down, and for this reason they lost some or even all of their data. At the end of the day, uh, the backup product is like health insurance. Uh, you never want to use it, but when something goes wrong, uh, you were so happy that you were so forward thinking back then. So let's move on to the next product, which is in fact the one uh, which is in fact one of the ways uh, you can build dashboards on your CRM data directly. By saying directly, I mean without a need uh, to use an intermediary database or storage. Like it usually happens uh, when um, a data analyst or a BI engineer starts working on a new uh, dashboard. So the product is called Connect, and I would say this is the easiest way of exposing your CRM data in a BI tool. As an example of a CRM, I would take Salesforce as a BI tool, Google Data Studio, which is supported by us as an app, and it's free. Uh, 
Uh, by the way, in the connector section, you can see the whole list of support connectors um, divided by uh, groups. So let's select CRMs as an example. You can see that we support these CRMs and you can work with them. You can build dashboards directly on data of uh, these CRMs. But let's uh, get back to Connect. Connect is in fact, uh, is an API as a service tool. It allows you to create uh, all data or SQL endpoints to a cloud application or a database. Uh, sure thing, uh, such a service can be developed uh, manually, but uh, you know, for that you would need to invest into development uh, workforce, then find a hosting, register domain, obtain certificate, deploy, administer, maintain the app, care about security, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, the Connect product covers everything above mentioned, uh, and it's easy to start using and maintaining it moving forward. Right, you know, right from the bottom. So dashboarding is one of the most popular use cases of utilizing Connect product by uh, our customers. Let's take an example of, you know, as an example of the following use case. Uh, let's say you want to build uh, a CRM dashboard in Google Data Studio based on deals or opportunities, as they are called in some CRMs. You can connect your CRM data with Google Data Studio in literally a couple of uh, clicks. Uh, and uh, let me show you how you can do it. So first, um, select the SQL endpoint mode and uh, click new and then uh, uh, as you can see, click new and find your uh, connector here. So let's say we want to connect to um, Salesforce. We can select the Salesforce from the list of all the apps available. And um, as you can see, we support production, sandbox, and custom environment. And uh, speaking from uh, authentication uh, method perspective, we support all 2.0 or username and password. We suggest to use all 2.0 as the most secured uh, authentication method. Now we're let's connect to one of the um, test accounts that I have. So uh, let's connect to test Salesforce uh, account here. Now we're connecting to uh, Salesforce data through their API. Uh, okay, here we can configure security. Uh, we can specify, for instance, from uh, which IP addresses users can uh, get data uh, from the endpoint. We can specify uh, them here. Um, or uh, here we can specify, uh, here we can configure access for authenticated users. Say uh, I want to create user with username and password. Safe. Okay. Um, so next step is just specify a name uh, for our new SQL endpoint. Okay, so um, it's ready. Uh, now we can copy the endpoint and pass it to the app that can consume SQL endpoints. Or we can select uh, one of the clients right inside Skyvia app. This can be Edo Net uh, Provider or ODBC or Google Data Studio that we support um, as an application. By clicking uh, Get Connector, you are redirected to Google Data Studio environment where you can uh, specify your endpoints parameter, integrate the data between your CRM, in our case Salesforce, and Google Data Studio. So here we should pass the endpoint URL that we have just created. Here we should specify the username and password.
in the type uh, parameter, you can specify whether to use all the data from an endpoint table or use a result of an SQL query. So the latter uh, would suit those of you who know um, SQL language. The rest should select table like I'm doing now. Then click next. Now we're sending a query to Salesforce instance uh, to return uh, the list of all the tables available through uh, their API. As you can, uh, as you know, the CRM is in fact uh, a, num a number of tables with relations that are wrapped up in a, re in a ready to use uh, user interface. Uh, in, and in the object uh, parameter, you can see the full list of tables such as accounts, contacts, uh, tasks, leads, uh, and all that stuff. Given we want to build dashboards on sales funnel, uh, let's select opportunity. Uh, this table is also well known as deals in some of other uh, CRMs. Okay, let's select opportunity. All set, uh, click connect in order to push data from Salesforce to Google Data Studio. Okay, here we can see the full list of all columns that I have in my test Salesforce environment. Uh, you can change fields, types uh, here if needed. Uh, I'll leave everything as is. So click create uh, report. Now we are reading data. Well done, you can now edit your first Google Data Studio dashboard. Let's try to build something um, simple. Say we want to visualize, um, uh, say we want to visualize our current sales funnel and see how many deals on what stages are there. I click add chart and then select pie chart. Put it somewhere here. Okay, we are now reading data from Salesforce again. Okay, so um, it seems the chart isn't ready yet, and um, um, it's showing us something that we don't quite understand. Uh, no problem, let's uh, fix this. Select the a dimension, uh, given we want to see stages, select stages name. Still pretty weird. Um, and this is because the default metric is uh, um, summing uh, amount, but we need to count by a metric that any opportunity will have for sure. Um, I would take an ID as uh, any opportunity has its own unique ID. Uh, I would also count them rather than just sum. Let's find IDs, ID. Okay, this is ID and let's count them. Let's wait until uh, we send the query. Okay, and let's count them. Okay, so um, this is something already. Uh, we can see a percentage uh, and a count of all the opportunities that we have in our test uh, Salesforce uh, environment. But apparently CRM would have uh, many different pipelines uh, like CR uh, like uh, customer success pipeline, sales, partner pipeline, etc., etc. On this uh, pie chart, we can see all the stages of all the pipelines. Um, say uh, we want to narrow down our request and see opportunities of certain stages like qualify, then developed, and then propose. 
we can create a filter um, right here in order to um, create a, a certain condition to get the result that we actually want to see. Let's add a new filter here. Let's name it stages filter. And let's let's specify conditions. Let's select stages name. Contains qualify. Then or stage name contains develop or again stage name contains propose. That's it. So uh, if you need to add more pie charts, you can do it um, here at a chart. You can then select uh, the, the metric, the parameter, and everything and everything. Uh, and you can also apply styling here uh, to make them look more attractive. You can change uh, the background color to gray, let's say. Uh, you can even add text. Dashboard. Let's specify some styling. Okay. So I guess you got the idea. Uh, with metrics and dimensions, you can build any type of dashboard to answer your questions. Uh, you don't have you don't have much uh, time now, and I won't be bothering you with watching how how I create all other uh, dashboards. I would rather show you what uh, what I built in like thirty or forty minutes prior to our webinar. I took one of our test CRM environments and uh, built dashboards answering three questions. Uh, first, what were the sales result, results last month? Uh, what does my sales funnel look like now? And what are top five lead sources? So I called this company Acme. So let's uh, let's see what we have here. So um, what this actually, what this dashboard can uh, can tell us. The conversion rate of MQL to SQL is, uh, you know, uh, pretty good, 14%, uh, a bit higher than a benchmark in the industry, which is 13% according to Salesforce. Um, these are total sales uh, in November. Uh, you can see the details here. I selected closing date filter, which equals to November. Then I summed the amount. Uh, amount of meaning that these deals that have some certain amount and uh, in this test CRM uh, we specify amount once we close deals. So all, only closed deals uh, are counted here. You can see um, the disposition of sales results by a sales rep. We have uh, um, John, which uh, who is a sales executive, and Melinda, who is SDR. So we can see that uh, John uh, closed deals. Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, gained uh, 4.6 thousand, and Melinda uh, gained just 1.3 thousand. This is the average sales cycle duration, uh, and this is the deal ownership of uh, uh, these two uh, sales reps. And we can see the sales funnel analysis here as well. And apparently, the Acme company has a bottleneck on the high levels of the sales funnel. If we judge on these results, Acme has. 52% of unqualified leads, prospecting and proof of concept, uh, and 90% of uh, MQLs, we can see it here, and just 12% of SQLs. 
almost 12, 12, 12 percent of her skills. This is a this is telling uh, us that Acme has to talk to their SDRs to find out uh, what what the problem is: lack of people, resource, um, you know, processes, or too many uh, bad leads uh, from marketing. As a result, even um, um, uh, even you know, I just invested uh, uh, a little time and uh, you know uh, could answer the most important questions of this sales funnel of our test account. Uh, here on the right side, you can see the um, uh, top lead sources that gained uh, uh, leads and uh, uh, by which uh, these uh, uh, people actually created deals. So trial request, sales inbox, sales insult response, request a call form, and so on and so forth. Um, you can see that I counted as a metric IDs. Again, I took IDs and counted them all. I sorted by IDs as well, just to make it look uh, beautiful. Again, you can uh, uh, enable styling here. You can change color, uh, change uh, slices number, etc., etc. Uh, you may wonder what kind of other uh, dashboards I can build uh, with Skyva Connect. Meaning, this is just uh, just an example. Yeah, it's. Uh, it's answering uh, main questions, and I can really see uh, how this uh, sales team of two people is performing, how well uh, they are performing. But uh, you can also, with Connect product and in conjunction with Google Data Studio, you can answer other questions like uh, number of deals created this month versus last month. Deals became MQL uh, this month. Deals became SQL this month. Deals closed this month. Deals by lead source, deals with scoring versus old deals, last contacted of SQL deals, and so on and so forth. So the, um, you know, um, the functionality is pretty sophisticated and you can answer any question, almost any question uh, with uh, Connect and Google Data Studio. Uh, you may also um, uh, wonder why is this approach in fact better than the dashboarding functionality provided by your CRM? Um, First of all, you can share uh, this Google Data Studio dashboard with anybody. Like this, share and add someone. Whereas uh, almost in any CRM, you must invite the user to let him see the dashboard. Thus, you can build a different customized dashboard that would answer the main questions uh, of a certain uh, department or a role. Uh, you can build um, dashboards designed specifically uh, for marketing or product team, sales leaders, sales reps, or uh, uh, C-level uh, executives. Even though um, Google Data Studio is not as powerful as, let's say, Power BI or Tableau, it's still more powerful than uh, standard dashboarding functionality of a bigger part of popular CRMs uh, nowadays. So we can just get more. We can uh, build more sophisticated and advanced uh, reports. Uh, you can display Google Data Studio dashboards on monitors around the office so that everybody can see how things are uh, going. And you can customize the user interface uh, of the dashboards uh, in the way you like. But in most cases, CRM's dashboards design uh, cannot be changed, so it's just fixed uh, because it's part of uh, CRM user interface. Okay, so you now have a Google Data Studio dashboard uh, that is uh, updating data directly from your CRM. Once you log in, you can update it, or uh, it, can, it can be automatically updated every uh, 12 hours. But what if you want to build a report in a Google Sheet? Not dashboard, but report. Uh, say you want to discuss deals stages with their uh, owner on a daily one-on-one -on -one meeting. Say you want to check whether uh, there are deals uh, on SQL stages uh, with which a sales rep hasn't worked uh, for a long time. Um, the query product would be a perfect choice uh, for uh, this kind of this kind of task. Let's get back to uh, the products and uh, let's select query. As you can see, we have uh, two uh, two modes: SQL and Builder. SQL is for advanced users, so no SQL builder for non-tax specialists. Let's select our, um, I don't know, Zoho test account. 
I created Skyway Zoho test account. Okay. Now we are retrieving, returning uh, the, the full list of all the tables available through Zoho's uh, API. Okay, so uh, this is the full list of all the objects available, objects or tables. So let's select deals. Use drag and drop to select the certain columns that we will be uh, we will include uh, in the resulting uh, table. So let's select um, deals ID. Let's select then deals stage. Deals owner. And uh, last activity time. Okay, so I guess it's ready. And um, I think we should check um, SQL deals only, meaning the, the deals that are on the SQL stage uh, now. So for that, we need to apply a corresponding filter. SQL. So now we can execute the query and uh, we're, we're now returning the result of this query right in the browser. Okay, so we can see this is the result of the query and uh, we can see a certain ID of a certain record, meaning the deal, who is the owner, what is the stage, it's SQL, and what was last activity time. And um, if needed, we can also um, apply, uh, we can also sort fields Let's say we want to sort fields by uh, last activity time ascending so that we could see uh, the oldest one first. Perfect. So we can see that we have um, a few deals that didn't have any activity since uh, 10th of September. That's 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 pretty bad uh, to my mind. And if uh, it were my CRM data, I think someone from my team would have an unpleasant uh, talk with me. Uh, so one more thing, uh, you can build and work with such reports in the most natural way uh, in Google Spreadsheet or Excel table. And you can even update your uh, tables there as we have add-ons for sheets and for uh, excel uh, let's save this query and i'll show you how it looks webinar query we can go to the uh, spreadsheet so this is just a google spreadsheet random google spreadsheet um, first of all, we have to, to connect to Skyvia. I have I have my connection here already. And uh, if you don't have it, you can find us in uh, add-ons and then log in. Okay, so I'm inside the... Um, Skyway Query product right from Google Spreadsheet. So as you recall, we want to return uh, that Google Spreadsheet directly to uh, that query directly to Google Spreadsheet. So let's go to gallery and let's try to find our saved query.
So, so it, it has a webinar in its name. OK, webinar query. Let's run it. So uh, this is the exact same uh, same table we have just seen uh, in the user interface of uh, Skype Query. You can even edit this query right from the Google spreadsheet by going to the um, query section in add-ons. If you want to change something, you can do it right in the spreadsheet. Like this. Or view in SQL mode if you are a pro. <laughs> Uh, that's it about the Google um, spreadsheet in junction with uh, Skype query. And with this tool, you can uh, build uh, any reports, you can return any data, uh, you can filter it, you can uh, sort it, you can uh, share um, this uh, Google spreadsheets with uh, people responsible for some areas or for some pipelines and so on and so forth. So this gives you uh, pretty advanced um, capabilities of uh, uh, reporting with teams and with team members. But if you want to build dashboards like a real pro, uh, like a BI uh, developer or data analysts, there's also something I can show you. Uh, data analysts and BI developers are capable of building very powerful dashboards that has complex uh, technical functions and modeling inside. Um, these are the ones you can see in, in a Power BI or Tableau. The most common flow of data analysts in building pro dashboards is as follows. They collect data from one or even several uh, different sources like CRM, CRPs, accounting tools, local and cloud databases in a single data warehouse like Google BigQuery or, um, or Tableau or, or Amazon Redshift or uh, Snowflake. Then they uh, either use um, their own scripts uh, and build it on, uh, on R or Python or use a powerful warehousing tool. And this is the functionality we actually have. As many pro data analysts um, cherish Skyvia for its powerful warehousing capabilities. Um, let's start from Power BI. So, so this is just a um, just a free trial account for Power BI. You can see that I have my test workspace here. And in order to show something here, uh, we can see that the system is pretty fresh. I have to add content. So I can add from my organization services, files like CSV files uh, or Excel uh, databases or data flows. So if you select data flows, you can see that we can define new tables, add new table here, and we can see the sources which we can use um, as a data source for our uh, further da dashboard, like Excel, like um, CSV again, like Google BigQuery, Snowflake, and so on. So if you want to connect to Google BigQuery, just select it, and then you can fill in the credentials here, and you can get connected to your um, Google BigQuery account and uh, uh, take uh, your data from there and display it in, in, uh, on one of the dashboards you're building. Uh, but the thing is here, uh, how you can get um, your CRM data and how you can uh, regularly push this uh, data and keep it updated in your data warehouse from your CRM. And well, Skyvia uh, can do it uh, with the integration product and the replication package in specific. Let's move on to the integration. So we have, uh, we have uh, a specific tool that um, covers this use case and this is one of the best solutions in the market that can uh, push data from from a cloud app to a, a data warehouse or database the text scenario is called replication so uh, all you need to do is just select your uh, cloud app let it be salesforce again and then uh, select your target we spoke about Google Bicurry, so let's select uh, Google Bicurry. As you can see here, we have a few options available. Uh, incremental updates 
this option is for uh, updating only the records that you um, changed since the previous uh, integration package run. The create tables, this means that uh, Scavia will create tables for you, no need to create anything manually. Drop tables, uh, this option is for uh, cleaning your uh, database if you have something there, or if you are not sure whether you have something there, you can just select drop tables and we will uh, uh, clean it for you. Create foreign keys to <laughs> create foreign keys. So uh, let's uh, drop tables uh, just to make sure our um, resulting uh, database in Google Backer is uh, empty. Let's um, select again opportunities. By the way, if you want to uh, specify a filtering option, you can do it here. You can uh, click this pencil and you can uh, enable a filter. Uh, let's say you want to, I don't know, uh, filter out the tables that um, were created at some date, okay? Or maybe prior to some date or later than some date, or you can use any parameter listed here. Name is not null or name contains something. So it's pretty powerful and uh, we can even create group condition with the and and or logical operator, which makes your uh, filtering option is very uh, advanced. So let's say we want to uh, replicate just opportunities. Okay, so the package is ready. Now, once we hit run, Skyview will start reading data from Salesforce API and then uh, pushing it to uh, to the database, data warehouse, in my case, Google BigQuery. Okay, now we are um, writing data to Google BigQuery. In the meantime, I'll, I'll tell you why would you need to utilize uh, uh, the replication injunction with Power BI uh, rather than just uh, create a direct connection between your, okay, so it's ready. We have just replicated 190 records uh, from the opportunity table directly to uh, Google BigQuery, and we can even check that. So we can go to query and we can open the connection to which we have just replicated data. Um, let's find BigQuery test data set. Now we are reading, okay. So we can see that opportunity is here. So the replication package was successful. So why, why would you need replication package injection with Power BI uh, or Tableau? Uh, of course, if you need more complex uh, dashboards, meaning if you want not just to display uh, and work with the data uh, directly from CRM, but if you want to add something, meaning aggregate this data. If you want to, uh, for instance, add some um, records, some data from ERP system or accounting tool, or I don't know, some other apps, you want to combine, you want to aggregate this data. You, you need to select some, da some data warehouse where you can perform uh, this aggregation. And once, so then the first step is to uh, replicate data from from a CRM, then you replicate uh, data or import data from some other database or uh, cloud app, then you can uh, aggregate the data of CRM, meaning th these tables with these uh, records from some other system, and then you'll have a result of, of uh, this simple analytics, and then the result of this analytics you can then display and um, through Power BI or Tableau and build dashboards based on uh, this data. Uh, so that was uh, all about um, Scavia platform and how we can build dashboards with our tools.